Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Fat Blokes Shorts. Today, we want to discuss how VirtualBox provides host and guest integration. And I want to do that by showing you three things. Firstly, I'm going to show you how the display of the guest and the host can be integrated really neatly. So let's say I had a couple of applications running inside of my guest here. Uh, let's say we've got the calculator and let's say we have Notepad as well. Now normally all the things to do with the Windows session operate within this window. And we talked in a previous episode about how you can show you can resize these things. Um, but the other thing that you can do is actually switch into seamless Windows mode. And you can do this by either dropping down the machine menu and choosing seamless window mode, or as the hint says here, press the host key, which on my Mac is the command key, and the letter L. So let's do that. And what you can see now is the way that the Windows applications are now cut out and, and float just alongside of my Mac applications, just nice and seamlessly here. If I press host and L again, we toggle back into um, the windowed mode. And a little uh, final tip here is that you can enter full screen mode using host and F. And that's really neat when you're using um, utilities like Spaces on the Mac or Works workspace managers on Linux and Unix devices where you can allocate a whole workspace to Windows so you can very quickly switch between um, Windows and your host system. So that's seamless Windows mode but the second thing I wanted to talk about was um, copy and paste. So um, let's switch into seamless Windows mode again and let's type something into our Windows notepad. This is Windows data. So, because this all looks so seamless, maybe you should be able to select the data, copy it, go to your Mac document, and paste it in over there. Voila. And can you do it the other way around? Sure. Let's copy that, go into Windows, and paste over here as well. So we can copy and paste between our host and our guest systems. Finally, I'd like to show you how shared folders works. So shared folders is about allowing the guest to see the file system of the host. And to do that, we have to configure our uh, shared folders. Now you can do that through the small icon on the bottom of the status bar, um, or you can pre-configure this in the uh, VirtualBox um, console in this area here, shared folders. So I'm going to do it on the fly here and simply say that I want to open up a new shared folder and I'm going to share, let's say I'm going to share my host's um, desktop directory and we'll give it a name desktop. So what I can now do is I can go to my computer in the guest and I can click on Map Network Drive because the shared folders is implemented as a uh, networked uh, file system. So I can type in here the directory that we want, and I think we called it uh, Desktop. Um, we can reconnect each time uh, Windows um, logs on, and we're now done. So I can now navigate computer drive Z to see my desktop. Now I haven't got anything here at the moment, so let's create a file. Let's very quickly create, say, a text file. And this is a Windows file over here. And you may see over in the corner here the fact that we've now also created that file over there. If I edit it in Windows, this is Windows and save that and go over to my Mac and try and open it you'll see over here it says this is Windows so that is shared folders you can make the shared folders transient for the uh, lifetime of the session or you can make them permanent so to make that permanent what I would do is I would change the settings and click on make permanent 
Apart from uh, whether these shares are permanent or temporary, you can also change whether or not they are read-only or not, which is also another useful feature. So one great example of um, how you can use shared folders might be that someone emails you a document which you don't have anything to open, uh, open it with in your uh, Mac world, but there may be a tool such as Visio in the Windows world that can open it. And so you can simply save the attachment to the host file system and then open it using Visio. In today's episode we saw how the host and the guest environments are integrated really neatly in three different ways. Number one, how the windows are drawn onto the screen. Number two, we can copy and paste information between applications whether they're in guests or hosts. And number three, we saw how the shared folders allows us to integrate between applications that run within the guest environment and the host file systems. Join us next time on FabLog TV.